Okay, ladies and gents, boys and girls, I have a quick one I'm going to do for some people have asked this, and my buddy George just asked this, and I was like, hey, send me your tune file, because I'd like to make a video showing how to do this. So this is how you fix Holly Base Scaling. So when you, when you build a tune file with your Terminator, more than likely, you're going to get this, where... It puts the threshold line, this is boost right here, zero. Uh, it devotes 80% of the table to vacuum uh, and uh, tiny frames for boost. And if, uh, I mean, I just don't like to do this. And it kind of throws everything off and gives you very little resolution for when you're in boost. And just don't like it, period. So I like to do at least half the table. But the issue here is it totally, it's going to screw up everything when you rescale this. So what we're going to go over here is when you scale your fuel table, it is going to biff your target air fuel ratio table for sure. And your spark table is separate actually, but you're going to want to fix this also once you import a tune file from all of that. So I would say the first thing we're going to do is fix the base fuel table. So right about here is the threshold. Either one of these is going to work. Uh, this is a fuel table he's been roughing out with his learn and everything else. So oh, there's definitely a, a spot where it's been throwing a bunch of fuel at this. So yeah, I'm not even sure if he's rolled into boost much at all. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take the zero line, we're going to copy it, and then we're going to go all the way down about halfway-ish and go zero. Ta-da! And then you're going to take the line you copied for zero and paste it in. Uh, it's kind of interesting that it says 115 there, so just to smooth this out, we're going to fill row. So, now that that's done and we're up to 21 as a height, so depending on the map sensor you chose, he chose a three bar. I always just try to max it out. So if you go back to your fuel table and you type in like 33, it'll go to 31.2 is the maximum scaling. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit fill column values. So I'm going to go from zero to 31 and a half ish. And I hit fill. And what it did is it chose uh, even numbers in between this split automatically. And then also what we have here is this is the negative five inches of vacuum here. What I like to do is go about halfway. Take seven or eight ish. And so this is almost eight. I like to rescale this too as low as I can. Negative. 14.5 I think it can go yeah so I took eight we're gonna hit fill again and we're gonna go back to eight ish and we're gonna paste this in and then what I'm gonna do is to make this very easy I'm gonna go here to here and I'm gonna hit fill selected and it's going to blend uh, hopefully my decent vacuum area to my non-decent vacuum area. This is an anomaly. I don't know why his car is adding so much fuel on D-cell here. That's interesting. We'll, we'll go over that one day in, in person. <laughs> so I'm going to blend again from our fresh known 8 row down to our negative 14 inches of vacuum row. And now we have a nice blend. So this should be idle-ish now. And then this should be high load and then into boost transition. What you're going to want to do now is pad this for when you start rolling into boost. And I would recommend, unless you have something to put in here, starting low is more intelligent. So, I mean, what we're going to do is I'm just going to type in like 175 up here. Probably way too much. And then we have an 80 here. Uh, I'm just going to shoot for like a middle number between 80 and 175. I'm going to go 115. And then we're going to go again to the four corners. And then when we hit fill selected, it's going to blend from 85 to 115 at vacuum boost threshold and all the way up. We're going to hit fill. And now we have this blend. So now that we did this, we have half vacuum, half boost. 
essentially. And if you want to, uh, you can get nuts and renumber these to be uh, something easier to understand if you're going to be running if you know your car and you know you're going to be running a certain amount of boost all the time you can flatline these you can flatline them later what i'm talking about is this is 15.6 so if you're running exactly 15 a lot you can just change this to a 15 and it'll be dead on that row it's still going to interpolate up and down a tiny but you understand what i mean uh, now that you have you know the resolution you want you can just get more finite with an area Next, what you're going to want to do is jump to your targets. And you can see now we have biffed the fuel scale. So 0 PSI is now targeting 14.7. 13 pounds of boost is targeting almost a 15.0. All of that's uh, no bueno. What I like to do for turbo cars uh, like this is really quickly, this car is going to be E85. So I'm going to put in E85 target air fuels here. Some of you might be like, oh, that's kind of lean in the mid-range. Not for ethanol, not for a built motor, not for everything George has. Keep up with me here, guys. I'm going to splash a 14 in right now just to cover that area. I, there's no reason to go to a 14.7. That's like a federally mandated number uh, part i my brain i just like to see the 14 number a lot of times these big cam big turbo everything else don't like to idle and cruise super lean anyway so 14 is fine uh some of them big cam stuff i throw into like a 13 at cruise and idle uh it all depends right but you're not saving a ton of fuel guys by changing your air fuel from a 14 to a 14.7 trust me you just want it not to buck and be stupid so this is how you hash out your fuel table faster so then right around three to zero here this is right, right where high load starts coming in so i would go from negative three to in the eight pound range and i would target a 12.5 and that'll get us hashed out and up around 30 pounds 11.3 is fine Let, let's do a quick interpolate and see what it does uh, i do a 12.0 air fuel in the teens frequently uh, when a car does well so we'll see what this says uh you know for just hashing your car out you should probably go a little bit safer and above this eight pound threshold you could do a 12 2 and then up around here you want to be maybe a 12 0 yeah crossing into there and then yeah you want to want a little something like this yeah a little bit something like that this is a big cube big turbo car it'll be totally happy with this and if you want to you can do a nice blend from like here to here and lean it out a little bit but not needed okay so now that we have done all of that you can get it idling and everything else and make sure everything's copacetic and your trims are good and start rolling into single digit boost numbers and making sure it's not pulling or adding a ton of fuel you should be manually if it's if it's wanting to put in a ton take out a ton of fuel you should manually make those fuel changes don't just wait for the learn table to make significant changes it, the learn is meant for a long long-term fuel trimming not immediate you're going to be driving and rolling into it incorrectly forever you know before that long term takes over it's so much easier to just hash out quickly the fuel table uh if it has way too much you just knock 20 percent out until it's good and then yeah just up and down and quick so now that all that's done i would recommend not you know i would totally change their their spark table it is not great at all uh, the handheld does a good job and the other issue here is when you import a table from a handheld it doesn't translate well holly has said this uh, this is not what the car runs it's just the quickest way to take the handheld flat table and apply it here it just automatically creates this ugly table because they could have spent hours and hours engineering a way to do this but if you're gonna do this you're gonna do it anyway so anyway enough of that uh, ignore all this and again 
you're going to want to go right to the middle. Well, first we can just type in 31 pounds. 31.2. Let's try 300 pounds and hit enter. Yeah, 31.2 is the max. And then we're going to type in negative 20. Yeah, negative 14.5. So those are the sensor limits. So you could pretty easily just do this. But what it does is it puts your threshold kind of low, in my opinion. So you want to go to, you want the half of the table, half of it driving, half of it beating the crap out of it and boost. So you do your halves and you fill and you get a decent amount of resolution on half. But now you see that you have 36 degrees of timing at 16 or 18 pounds of boost. Now, we could do a whole separate video on how I do this normally, but what I'd like to do is just paste in a table that I have that works good. I could tell you why and what, uh, why we would build our own. Uh, but essentially, uh, I think I'm just going to paste one in. But I want to show you guys that you need to, when you scale this, you need to think about this. So like this 18 is fine down low. Uh, surprisingly, ethanol boost cars do not like a ton of timing. Down uh, down here, uh, let's see. People are like, oh, all motor, I'll take 46 degrees now. No, it's not a carbureted small block. Uh, fill row yeah nice and smooth transition here and then i would say a lot of these cars like to idle in the 18 to 22 range so if it's idling they they like that a lot 18 to 22 if it's idling in this area you want to have 18 ish here if it's falling below idle you want to grab you want to throw like a 28 in there so if it wants to dip the spark shoves the idle back up slightly uh from here to here you can do a little bit of uh, spark transition off idle, fill from here to here. You can fill. Uh, 36 is pretty conservative at cruise. You're going to want to see where the car cruises. So uh, I like to throw in a bunch down low. If it's cruising and it pulls high vacuum, you want like 46 in there. And then I'm going to do a quick transition and I'm going to see what the fill looks like. It's kind of low, like 28 here. It kind of knocked it down quite a bit. So what I'll do is I'll do back to that 46, 466, hell yes. So we'll do that and then we'll, sometimes you can't do what you want and fill selected every time. Sometimes it's better just to do fill. Uh, we don't want to fill the columns. We're going to undo that quick. I just, I just want to see something visually appealing to me here. Fill rows? Is that what, nah, we're just going to do I think what it does is it biffs my thing down here because of idle and everything else. We're going to do this quick, fill selected. We're going to do this quick, fill selected. So you're going to want to cruise the car and see where you cruise, and you're going to want to get ignition in and out of it and make it happy. The rest of this stuff, we'll just take the harsh edges off. Uh, probably put 18 and the rest of it here so it falls into a nice idle pocket pretty nicely. And then uh, we're going to go smooth. We're going to ding this guy a little bit. So then, man, on e-cars like this, I usually go for like almost 20 pounds and 20 degrees right away. We're going we're gonna to make these flat numbers so it's easier for my brain to process. What I'm looking at, 2 is almost useless. 5, we'll make this a 10. Let's see what it wants to choose. Yeah, still seven and a half. Okay, so now that these are more flat, uh, and then George, I would bump this to like 7,600. And then uh, let's fill this out, fill rows. Okay, so now that we have all this done, you want to you don't want to be running off of your map. I should check his fuel one then too, real quick, and make sure. Yeah, 7,000. The Holly map usually quits at 7,000. We'll, we'll make sure if he's revving the snot out of this thing that uh, it has plenty of swing up there. So fill rows, perfect. Oh, didn't get it. It did not get it. See, there's a ton of resolution down here at idle we probably don't need. Probably get rid of that at some point too. It all depends on your car and everything else. So now we have tons of fuel in that area. And now we'll go back to Spark. You want to make sure we can you can really swing it out, and uh, what we should do is just even both out. To be honest, so 2,000 
to 8,000. Okay, so now we got 26 in it on the base, and then what I was saying to you guys is some of these combos like 20 pounds and 20 degrees, but above peak torque, so 20 degrees here. So what I like to do is, it says 14, 16, 20, I don't know if he's going to run that much. Sometimes I like to have an 18, a lot of these cars are, we usually ship them at like 18 pounds. Anyway. What I want to see at about 16 pounds, 16 and 16, and then 20 and 18 would be nice. So above 5,900 here, I'm going to type in, what am I at, 20 pounds? 20 pounds, I want about 18 degrees here. This is a spicy, big tune-up, big cam, big turbo car. So hope you understand why I'm selecting these numbers. And then down low, I mean, this is a built engine, but you still don't want to beat the crap out of it. You don't want to hurt it for no reason. So you almost want to throw in like a four here and about an eight. And then if you do a little bit of interpolation, I missed the eight. Here we go, eight. And then if we have it all in by 6,000 and we come back down to zero and we do a nice fill, uh, we get a nice blend. It's still a little high down low here. We'll we'll take care of it. And then, man, on 30 pounds, we'll we'll put like a 10 in here, so it's all out by then. Eight four fill. Okay. And then we want to fill columns. Yeah. So now, I mean, we're all pretty much hashed out for his ignition here down low. Uh, wide open maybe we'll put like a see somehow we got I did this when I biffed the idle I would say you want a 12 down here pretty low and like an 18 at 2000 18 degrees most of the time it can't use any more than that so fill row yeah and then we're just gonna see I have to see this car idling to know where this number should be fill selected okay yeah so that softens that up and then we'll do fill selected. That'll soften that up. And then actually, we'll go right back up to 16 and 16. And then hit fill from our zero and see if it looks good. Yeah, it softened up the bottom a little bit. Okay, that's what we want. So uh, now that all that's hashed out, uh, you just got to roll into this thing a couple times and make sure it's happy. Uh, on a dyno and on the street but this is uh should be very good for what it is it's nice and kind of soft down low 12 12 pounds got 12 degrees at 2600 and then that comes up to like almost 19 degrees at 8000 so when he's swinging it out the ignition will come up and then what we look for is a uh, maximum amount of torque per ignition and everything else but this is going to be one of those things a stick shift car where it just it comes up and it doesn't make power till later up here anyway but you don't want to be rolling into it in six make a ton of boost and spark and knock a head gasket out of it also so that's where we're at it's looking good everything else is happy and uh we'll smooth this stuff quick but yeah we would ship this for sure and then just watch when the car drives and make sure it's not hitting a weird wall of too much or too little when you're trying to drive everything else but yeah that's how you hash that stuff out just stuff you got to make sure when you look at and that's about it